the biggest auto expo yet okay. in the history in terms of the component show. Deepak, thank you for your time. Thank you, Malik. I would like you to just describe about this particular edition and then how, what is the sense that you're getting? This is the 15th edition of the Automotive Component uh, Expo. And I think we are extremely delighted uh, for basically the footfall that I would actually like to take this opportunity to thank my customers because the customers, top management have visited us. Uh, since I yesterday. think if you look at the number of footfalls, the business visitors, the right people, they've actually come and visited the show. Uh, also, I think it is, was a great opportunity uh, for the auto component industry to actually come together and show the resilience uh, you know, because we have gone through a elongated downturn, there is BS6, which the component industry has also invested quite a lot of money, and that obviously would like to showcase. And of course, there is future trends of mobility, and in the future trends of mobility, we see that there is EV, there is XCVs, there is alternate fuels, there is also host types of digitization, industry 4.0. So it creates an amazing platform for all the congruence and convergence of these technologies. But the tendency was that, you know, this uh, edition will be very muted because of the slowdown and other factors, etc. Et but it looks like it has defied. Any particular reason that you see? So, I would say that I will take, I would say, fundamentally when we were selling the space, we have 25% more space we sold from the last edition. Okay. So, I think it's the biggest auto expo yet okay. in the history in terms of the component show. Okay. Uh, I think, you know, the, it's not for present, it is for the future, right? And I think the component industry is showcasing its talent for the future. And I think also the visitors which you're seeing is not just for today. So I think we feel very comfortable, you know, now showcasing uh, what we see is competitive, uh, quality, world-class, but also what we are trying to do in terms of localization and future relevant technologies. Mm -hmm. So you do you see uh, that uh, the, your mission is accomplished? Uh, I think so. I mean, so you know, whenever the... customers visited uh, OEMs? I, I, so I think from the OEM perspective, I have seen almost the top management mm -hmm. of all the major OEMs coming and visiting, all of them. Uh, and I think it's uh, kudos to them that they have actually given, it's very reassuring for the component industry. And especially, you know, when you're in a downturn phase, I think we need to build that brand. We need to invest for the future. And I think that's what the component industry has showcased. Are you getting any indications on how to improve? Because continuous improvement is part of component industry, ACMA, the cluster program, etc. Are you getting some signals on well, I think, to improve? I think, uh, you know, the theme of the expo this time from the components phase is technovation. It's technology, so we're showcasing the future technologies, but also it's innovation. And innovation is, in a way, you could say Kaizen as well, which is continuous improvement. So we need to keep on innovating to ensure that we are competitive. And I think that's also one of the strengths. Thank you, Deepak. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you so much. Thank you.